Netherlands game at 5.30, and we will be back at 8 o'clock tomorrow night right here as Australia takes on Cuba. Remember, check your local listings for the exact game in your region. The World Baseball Classic Baseball is spoken here. Adrian Gonzalez has driven in all three of the Mexican runs tonight with a double and a two-run home run. It's a 3-2 Mexico lead. New pitcher for Mexico is maybe he's got the best name in the World Baseball Classic. Alessio Angelucci. You would think he probably will be in Italy's team, right? Well, he's now a member of the Padres, at least the uh, Padre organization. How about those Italians, Charlie? We gotta give you credit, man. Yeah, they, uh, they came to play. And Canada at home lays an egg. Give a lot of credit to Coach Mike Piazza, among others. Here's the one-two. Fly ball to left field and deep at the wall. And oh, what a catch by Paul Rutgers. So even the Mexican fans are applauding the effort defensively again by the South African outfielders. We've seen Gordon make a couple of nice plays in center field. Look at the effort by Rutgers going back, knowing exactly where he was. The ball was slicing. Get the glove up and follow that body. Help me out, buddy. Let's see. Thank you. And that's the first out of the fifth inning. Cantu has slide to center and he has doubled tonight. We've seen two balls at least tonight, Charlie, that yesterday during the day, forget about it. The one by Cantu himself in the first inning to center field and that one slicing, but yesterday well, I would have been out of here. Cantu has a couple of hits in the tournament, one out of two tonight. Time to inside. Delucci, the story is so interesting. He's a converted outfielder. A sinker baller with plus movement. He's got a bit of giddy up, doesn't he? He does. He's not afraid. He, uh, in fact, uh, his manager, Rick McNathy, told me he reminds him of a young Justin Spire because of the intensity that he brings to the mound and that good running fastball Mikey right-hander two and two now he steps off the rubber after can two gets time from home plate on Pyro Lance Parksdale So Italy eliminates Canada six to two tonight. Inside. Kristen Orfia had four hits and three doubles. Nick Punto, a great piece of that team also. Very productive. Another broken bat. Another routine ground ball and two out. In two weeks, it'll all be finished at Dodger Stadium, but miles to go before we sleep. And we'll be in San Diego next week. Cuba and uh, Mexico certainly were the favorites to come out of the Pool B, ours. But Australia is saying, hey, wait a second, don't forget about us. And Australia plays Cuba tomorrow night here. Don't tell that to John D with their manager. The one thing about uh, the Australian team coming in, talking to Diebel and uh, Graham Lloyd, a lot of Major League fans remember him, and Pat Kelly, Graham Lloyd, the pitching coach, and Pat Kelly, the first base coach. They were saying, you know, we're not quite sure yet how good we are, but one thing we are sure about, we're tough. And boy, they showed that toughness last night in that 17-7 to thrashing of Team Mexico. That could be interpreted in so many ways. We're tough because we slide hard. We're tough because we pitch inside, but 
We're tough because we don't give up is the message I got. Yeah, they got heart. They, they really do. Kareem Garcia, 0 for 2, who did not play last night. Takes a ball outside. Garcia was a member of that 2003 Yankee team. You may remember that free for all in the Fenway Park bullpen. He was right in the middle of that. He got under it. He just got under it. And Martin Gordon makes an easy play and a 1 2 3 inning for Alessio and Delucci. 3 2 at the halfway mark. Uh, we're in Mexico City at Forosol Stadium. Some weird things going on tonight. We head to the sixth inning and Mexico with a 3-2 lead. And again, and under the full moon, wouldn't you know it, here's Mexico, the road team tonight. Scott Hairston takes a strike and it's nothing in one. Hairston is single to left and he has walked. In South Africa. 9,000 miles from home, half a world away. They're the home team. This fouled away. Tony, as you mentioned, before, so I had never been on a racetrack before. They have a Formula One racetrack. Right. It circles. In fact, just to get into the stadium, we have to drive on that track and see all the cyclists around there. We got joggers everywhere. And what a great environment has been here in Mexico City for the World Baseball Classic. Two strikes and nothing to Hairston with Durazo and Ojeda to follow. So you look at those curves, you see a straightaway, and doesn't it make you feel like taking a car out there? I prefer to be driven here, frankly, but, <laughs> but it's fine. I'm with you. I'll, I'll sit in the back seat with you. It's a free-for-all. And that's the problem with the driving in this team. Oh, oh it's a high fly ball to center field, and Hairston just got under it. The balls that were flying out last night are staying in tonight. I to make mention of that because we saw the ball just taking off last night and also during the day yesterday. Hanky breaking ball. That pitch was half. Not enough. Jorge Vasquez who hit the grand slam in the first inning yesterday. Now pinch hitting for Uribe Durazo. Durazo bounced into a double play, was hit by a pitch. I wonder if his hand is beginning to bother him, and that's the reason for the pinch hitting appearance by Vasquez. That's my guess, is I wouldn't take Durazo out unless he was hurt against the right-handed pitcher in this situation. And of course, Durazo's a left-handed batter. One out in the sixth. South Africa continues to hang around. Overwhelming underdogs against the home team, Mexico, with 16 major leaguers. South Africa has never had a major leaguer. Here's the 1 1. Drilled the right. And it's going to be one off the wall. And Vasquez, who doesn't run terribly well, and Carl Weitz, who played the rebound perfectly, holds Vasquez to a single. Good piece of hitting. Vasquez seen the ball very well, earned at bat by what he did yesterday with a big grand slam. He's able to drive the ball well the other way, but smartly. He also knows how the ball plays off that wall. Doesn't force the issue, stays at first base. Doesn't run terribly well, and a man has to know his limitations. So it's a single with one out in the sixth. So it's one. Since Clint. <laughs> Miguel Ojeda is lined to short, and he's walked. <laughs> oh, Chucky. This <laughs> is strike. I gotta, I have to make, somebody has to drop a nice breaking ball again. I have to see another one called Chuck <laughs> Buckler. The days of uh, Dwight Gooden when they called oh, him Lord Charles. Don't. It wasn't 
That was no, uh, <laughs> Mr. Charlie. That was Lord Charles. Foul back, and I hope this window is strong enough. It's just over our heads, thankfully. We're in an enclosed booth, which uh, is a little bit unusual. And, uh, did anybody ever tell us whether or not this window is uh, shatterproof? Let's find out. I'd rather not. <laughs> Here's the 0-2. Brown ball slowly hit to short. Phillips, there's one. On to first. Double play! Boy, the South Africans won't go away. A very nicely turned DP. Phillips and Wipe to Willenberg. 